how much closer. Quick movements. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Coach G, and Coach Henry of Final Round Training. We are here to bring you your five biggest mistakes on the heavy bag. This is something that we see time and time again with new members coming in that have no boxing experience. And these mistakes on the heavy bag will lead to bad habits if you ever need to use your fighting in a self-defense position. Mistake number one is leaning forward too much. When you're fighting and hitting the bag and you start leaning forward, the one thing that you're definitely not doing is you're never getting full extension of your punches. So you're not learning to really rotate correctly. You're just leaning forward with all your weight there. If I'm a good trained fighter, I'm going to block that every time. And now look how much closer he is to me. If you learn to hit correctly, get full extension every single time you punch, you're always going to have a much better distance. I can't reach him now. Now he's in a better spot. To fix this mistake, you take a noodle, you put it in front. If your stomach touches the noodle, you're too close. Nowhere near that noodle. All that distance, all that power, every single time. Mistake number two is not pivoting with any of your punches, whether that's the lead or whether that's the back. Whether I'm throwing a cross or a hook or a body shot, it doesn't matter. If you're not pivoting, you're missing out on a ton of power. Typically, people do this. They arm punch. There's no rotation in his lower body. It's very easy for me to block those punches. Start rotating your lower body every time you turn, you're gonna get a lot more power. Like this. You get a lot more respect out of the person you're fighting when they know there's power behind those punches. Pivot your feet when you throw punches so you can hit hard like him. Mistake number three is dropping your hands. This is a very, very common one the one that we see the most, and the reason you do it is because you've never been punched in the face, and that's the truth. Good boxers know you gotta keep your hands up to protect your face, so they don't drop them when they punch, because if they do, it makes it a lot easier for me to counter my opponents. Most people hit the bag like this. They're throwing the punches maybe correctly, but the hands drop right away. You're missing out on a ton of power and a ton of speed. If you have no power and no speed, you're not going to do well against the guy you're fighting. <laughs> so it should be pretty obvious, keeping your hands up is probably a good idea. So a great way to fix that is to bring your thumbs back to your face every single time. And every time you throw a punch, bring it back so you look a lot more defensive. So remember, bring your thumbs back to your cheek every time you throw a punch. Mistake number four is holding your breath. This is the same as trying to go run a mile while holding your breath. You are doing a lot of quick movements that require a lot of breathing. So it's very, very important to breathe every single time you throw a punch. When I'm fighting very good and skilled opponents, I need my conditioning to be on top shape. So I'm not gonna hold my breath. If you hold your breath while you're hitting the heavy bag, you're going to get tired way faster. You're going to fatigue, your punches are going to get weaker and weaker as you go. But if you fatigue quicker, you're probably going to lose that fight. <laughs> Take a breath every single time you throw a punch. You're going to last a lot longer when you need it. The fifth and most common mistake of all that we see every single time is just lack of movement. There's no movement around the bag, there's no head movement, there's no defense. And this is typically because most of our clients come from these big box boxing gyms that don't really teach you how to box. They just have you throw a bunch of random punches that you're probably throwing wrong anyway. Most of you probably hit the bag and look like this. You're just kind of staying in one place. Maybe you throw some good punches because you've been there for a while, but most gyms don't teach you movement. They teach you to stand in one place and just throw punches. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever seen a boxing match that looked like this? If you switch it up, add some movement, add some defense, 
little head moving, all of a sudden, you start looking like a fighter. So chances are, when you have seen a boxing match, it looks a little bit more like this. The next time you hit the heavy bag, try adding some movement. Move your head around. Pretend someone's throwing a punch at you. Get out of the way. Move around the bag. You'll start getting much better workouts too. All right, so quick recap. The five most common mistakes. No lean forward. No pivot for the power. Dropping your hands. Holding your breath. And no movement. All right, clean that shit up.